Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 77. Before we get into this question, I want to digress a bit and I'm going to tell maybe a little story and I don't want this to sound like I'm bragging or anything. I want that you to use this as encouragement. So think of it this way. I'm using this as an encouragement to help you know that you will pass this license exam. Now this test that I'm going over right now was the very first practice test I did when I decided that I wanted to get the California State Certification. I took this test and I also knowing myself when I started studying I knew I was going to create a lesson on how to take code based license exams. If I'm going to put this much work into studying I'm going to do a little bit more work and I'm going to create a course on how to study and pass this examination. So with that in mind I had a theory and I wanted to test that theory. So I got this practice test and was this one right here in California as in many states it's a hundred questions you have four hours and you must get a 70 or above to pass. My theory was California was using the 2008 code even though it's 2011 the authority having jurisdiction says they're going to use the 2008 code. When I took this practice exam I used the 1996 code book and the reason for that was to see and to prove to myself that it's not the version of the code necessarily because what I'm teaching for the course is how to navigate through the code book. So even though the code may update and change slightly, the way you navigate through it has not changed. So you're going through and you're finding the information in the index, but the way you find that information and the way it's laid out in the rest of the code book hasn't changed. So in other words, if they've added something in the code book, they will add that in the index and you'll find it and reference it but the way you look at it the way you go about your questions and look for the keywords that hasn't changed so that was my theory when I took this again this exam based on a 2008 code book and I used a 1996 code book and why 77 well I made a 77 on that practice test when I did it at home the thing about that okay one I would have passed the exam I felt good but number two, because I had a 96 code book and this test was based on a 2008 code book, there were 15 questions that I could not answer because the information simply because of updates was not in the 96 code book. I got 77 out of 85, which is closer to 90%. So if I would have got 90% of the other answers right, you know, I would have scored uh, in the high 80s or up to 90 on my exam, in the very first exam I would have taken. So I mentioned this to you as a point of encouragement. So even though if you're looking at this, and this is uh, what I'm using is a 2008 code book to create this lesson, uh, and many places are now up to the 2011 code for the test. When you go to the testing center, they will give you a code book to use. You can't bring your own because it has to be unmarked and you can't put tabs in it or anything. It has to be a clean book. But they will give you a code book to use. And my course is teaching you how to navigate that code book. That is what I want to point out to you right now. Basically with this course what I want to tell you is you're learning how to navigate the code book. It doesn't matter which version of the code book you get. You're going to know how to navigate it. And when your test is based on that version of the code book, you're, you, if you're qualified as a journeyman and you uh, stay focused and do this, you should be able to pass that exam with a score of 70 or better. All of that being said, uh, I hope you take that as a point of encouragement that you're learning how to use the code book properly and to navigate it. At least, you know, my style of how to do it and it's, uh, other people have told me that they like it. And this day is also significant in one sense. It is exactly three months to the day of uh, when I passed my exam in California. Okay, question 77. Where more than one concrete encased electrode is present in a building or structure, it shall be permitted to connect to only one of them. Is that true or false? Well, if we follow the strategy we used in question 76, 
let's go with the word concrete instead of uh, electrode and in the dictionary because on true false questions that seems to be what works better so here we are at concrete and the first thing it talks about electrodes encased in concrete which is what our question was asking and it's 250 which is in the grounding and bonding which uh, encased electrodes deal with that okay now look we got 250.50 250.52A, 250.52A, and can we have a 2 and a 3 after these, and then 250.66B, 250.68A. So all of these are kind of close together, especially these first three. So let's start with 250.50 and let's get the answer to this question. Here we are at 250.50 and it's talking about the grounding electrode system and if you start to read you really don't get an answer it's talking about the system in general but down here it's talking more about the electrodes and so if we go down just a little bit okay electrodes permitted for grounding metal underground water pipe so let's continue looking uh, down in our code book we have to go to the next page okay next we have a metal frame or building structure structural steel okay that's not what we want we go down and look at this concrete encased electrode and that's what our question was asking us about so here it is and it's talking about at least two inches of concrete and it's twenty feet long it's the amount of you know it's giving some number specs but as you read down here's really where our question is where multiple concrete encased electrodes are present in a building or structure it shall be permissible to bond only one into the grounding electrode system and this is almost word for word of our question since we can only bond one the way our question is worded the answer is true thank you for watching this video please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that i can continue to make more videos like this if you find this video helpful please consider donating using the paypal link below thank you